from winning an absurd amount of titles and awards to completely altering the career of other tennis greats. This is the unimaginable legacy of tennis's biggest superstar, Rafael Nadal. It's April 29, 2002. A kid by the name of Rafael Nadal is making his professional debut. Facing off against Roman Delgado in his hometown of Mallorca, much to the surprise of the tennis world, Nadal took down Delgado. Why was this such a crazy feat? Nadal was only 15 years old, making him just the ninth player to win an ATP match before the age of 16. This didn't come as any surprise to his family, though. Rafael began tennis lessons at the young age of three, inspired by his uncle, who was a professional tennis player. In fact, Nadal's signature one-handed forehand, you know, the one that has terrorized the best players in the world for decades? Yeah, that was actually inspired by his uncle, Tony Nadal. I wonder if Tony knew he would be altering an entire sport. Following his first professional win, Nadal wasn't done. Just two years later, the 17-year-old became the youngest player since Boris Becker to make it to the Wimbledon quarterfinals. From here, he could not be stopped. Throughout 2004, Nadal would become one of the most recognized tennis players in Spain. But by 2005, the world would learn Nadal's name. During that year, Nadal won numerous titles, including one that would spark one of the greatest rivalries we've seen in sports. In his first French Open appearance, Nadal ran through the field until he would meet another up-and-comer in the semifinals. That up-and-comer's name? Roger Federer. In the two's first matchup, it was clear that these were two of the best players in the world. Ultimately, Rafael came out on top, going on to win the whole damn thing. Consequently, Nadal would rise to number three in the entire world. A spot, by the way, that he wouldn't relinquish for quite some time. In fact, he would hold a spot in the top 10 for almost two decades. Wow! After 2005, only one question remained. Was this just a hot year for Nadal? In the following year, Nadal gave an emphatic answer to that question. No! Winning five more ATP titles, the world began to realize that this was more than just another good player. This was the beginning. The beginning of one of the most dominant runs we've ever seen. During that same year, Nadal would face off against Federer yet again, continuing to build upon the incredible rivalry. This time, it was for all the marbles. In the finals of the French Open, the two engaged in an epic showdown. A showdown that we'll tell our grandkids about, and has become one of the greatest legends in tennis history. The start of it all, the moment the argument truly began of who the greatest player in the world really is. For the second year straight, Nadal came out victorious. This would catapult his career, as he beat Federer in 2008 for his first Wimbledon title, which wouldn't be his only one. Over the next decade and a half, Nadal would go on to win 22 major titles and counting, which is a tie with Novak Djokovic for the most all-time. He's been deemed the king of clay, holding the all-time record of 63 clay court titles. That's a lot of wins. If that's not impressive enough, he also holds the record for the most French Open titles, with a total of 14. He's the only man in history to complete the career Grand Slam and win an Olympic gold medal in both singles and doubles. Whether or not you think Nadal is the greatest of all time, one thing is clear. He changed the game forever. Don't take my word for it. Instead, let's take a look at what other tennis greats have to say about Rafael. Eight-time Grand Slam winner Andrea Gassi declared Nadal the GOAT of tennis. His argument was simple. Nadal has done everything. All of his wins and accomplishments, right in the middle of Roger Federer's prime. Federer is largely considered one of the greatest to ever do it. And Nadal did not only go directly through him, but beat him at almost every turn. Despite the victories Nadal has had over Federer, Roger has had his fair share of wins as well. And despite the two creating one of the greatest rivalries in all of sports, Federer has nothing but respect for his counterpart. I have always had the utmost respect for my friend Rafa, as a person and as a champion, said Federer. As my greatest rival over the years, it is a true honor to congratulate him. To go up against who many consider the greatest of all time, and to not only beat him multiple times, but to gain his respect, shows the impact Nadal has had on this great sport. 
But despite all of his awards, records, titles, and everything else he's accomplished in his illustrious career, his biggest impact was on the game of tennis. His ultimate legacy is how he impacted the careers of other greats. Just imagine the number of titles and records Roger Federer would have without the presence of Nadal. What about Andy Roddick? Andy Murray? The players Nadal had to go up against were some of the best in the world. And they had some success in their own right. Unfortunately for them, Nadal stood in their way to becoming what they truly could have in any other time period. As we've seen, Nadal and Federer have gone at it, over and over. Nadal wins, then Federer wins. It's been the biggest story in tennis for the better part of two decades. Ultimately, Nadal has gotten the best of Federer head-to-head, -head, with a record of 26-14 versus Federer. It's clear he has the upper hand. Just imagine what Roger's career would look like without Rafael. Would he have the all-time record for most Grand Slams? To be honest, probably. Although Federer has already established himself before Nadal even turned pro, he was at the peak of his performance during Nadal's early years. He could have been on top for much longer, and instead, he had to share that crown with Nadal. And remember, Roger Federer isn't the only career path that Rafa changed. Again, imagine a world where Novak Djokovic didn't have to deal with the likes of Rafael Nadal. I mean, he already sits alongside Nadal for the all-time Grand Slam record. The pair have faced off against each other a total of 59 times, and Djokovic holds the lead with a record of 30-29. In major finals, Nadal beat Djokovic a total of five times. Additionally, he directly or indirectly kept him from the finals on numerous occasions. Without Nadal, Djokovic would likely have a stranglehold on every record in the book. Aside from the big three, Rafa's biggest impact was actually on guys like Andy Murray. Andy Murray is a three-time Grand Slam champion and one of the biggest names in tennis. But his career has been behind a shadow. A big Rafael Nadal-shaped shadow. This is the case for many other players as well. The history books would be different. The GOAT debate would be different. The entire sport would be different. Overall, Nadal's legacy in tennis is deeper than just records. It's been a story. A story of a kid rising to stardom. And despite the pressure, despite facing some of the greatest to ever do it in their prime, and despite the injuries that threatened to end his career, Rafa did it. He beat those odds, making sure the world not only knew his name, but would remember it for a long, long time. No matter who you think the true goat of tennis is, there's one thing for sure. That answer changes because of what Rafael Nadal has done. Tennis, along with competitive sports, will never be the same. All thanks to Rafa. And there you have it. This was the unimaginable legacy of Rafael Nadal.